is this pretty pretty lady ruth kadiri discoverer of talent <laughs> has introduced us to annabelle speaks so well she acts so well she's just pretty her demeanor she's like very composed you get very composed kind of a, 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 a lady she's poor she's acting it well she has manners she you, i think she's just what we saw like just pretty humble cool kind and she speaks so well i really like the way she speaks so so well sounds very nice very 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 nice and now nigeria's favorite um chidi and um, i think he's also um getting better of course when you do something you improve you get better at it and so i think he's also getting better i think he was more relaxed in this uh, movie he had everything under control as well he was just you know flowing with the vibe and they had a good kind of a good connection um omar and then stefan they their vibe was not bad at all it was not bad at all when i saw the lady i was like okay then now uh, their vibe was just cool i think they blended well it's just i think it was it was 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 a good one i didn't start watching the movie early but i couldn't stop watching it i really watched it and then by the time i went to bed it was midnight already so yeah that was how good you know their pairing was and how good the story was about let's just go straight to the shock of the movie i was pretty shocked to find out that omer's auntie is actually her biological mother i mean what was going on there how did she end up here why was she so angry that she had a child she could see i mean she wanted to abort the child the child was couldn't abort itself and she gives birth to the child she gives the child to someone else to take care of the child and the child thinks that the woman who is dead is her mom until she turns on this conversation and she realized that what my auntie is actually my mom and the auntie did not and had never treated her nicely i mean she was going to sell her clothes she was not ready to take her to university she was more focused on raising money to go chase her husband who left her four years ago so their property and everything in jackpa like what are you talking about i could not understand the mom was just frustrated and angry that they got she, she got pregnant so young she and the man could not end up together she has this man the man also runs away so every all the anger all her pain everything was just on oma poor oma just at the receiving end of everything negative everything bad i was shocked to find out that the, the auntie was actually the mom she was she threw her out of the house like what, 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 what kind of anger is this? What kind of anger is this? And I think that when um, Uma's mom, the deceased one, um, died, then the relatives did not take Uma in because they knew that her supposed auntie is the mom and will have no option but to take her in. And I think she, the auntie took her in because she had no option. At least she's my child. I will just take her in making this young girl think that you did her favor by bringing her in you did her favor by taking on her this responsibility you did her favor by you know seeing her through school for a while she thinks that you are doing her favor no no you are supposed to be taking care of her as your responsibility i did not understand the woman i didn't understand her at all the girl sells granites for you she does everything she does everything she's of your child i mean she was asking the mom what's the difference between your son and me what's the difference you give birth uh, you, you got pregnant by a man you love was that a difference like was that a difference and um i liked almost um question like the man too you said because a woman told you that someone will be coming to look for you when she comes suck her they also suck her at your age and then you are back to apologize for what exactly they shocked me honestly i was shocked it was like the shock of the movie for me i was like ah, really wow parents can actually do this so our parents two of them can actually do this now at a point in your life some way somehow there's this person that comes makes it better it could not be like this is going to change your life entirely or forever but then there's like just people that you meet who you know make your life better and it's the fun i mean the way they've met was amazing it was awesome 
this guy taking pictures of children he's giving biscuits to i mean what what's what's going to use the pictures for who is he what if something happens to these kids you know omar had very legitimate questions and then the action was very legitimate and why stefan was angry because you can't just come to a village give biscuits to children and they start taking pictures it's not done it's not acceptable okay so the way they met was just great and they met on a bad boat but at the end of the day stefan you know was like nah i really need to help this young lady and she's pretty i am liking her why can't i just you know, just help her to just make her life better and then mine to easier ease the the the, the worry that i have you know about this girl just let me just help her so you meet someone who makes your, your life better sometimes it's the same gender sometimes it could be the opposite sex sometimes like the opposite sex doesn't end in the two of you be ending up together it's just help, there to help you sometimes too it ends up with you being each other's you know partner so that's what we saw in this particular movie stefan omar partners mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. along came love indeed but one thing that is confusing me now i'm a bit skeptical about is did stefan fall in love with omar because he pitied her or because he kind of like genuinely liked her or he was liking her but then the pity pushed it faster you get because he was always like this girl she, the lady needs this the lady needs that and i have to help i have to help her i mean when she, she and he and um most of the conversations like you're my responsibility i want to take care of you i want to make sure that you are better he's like you, you can't do this forever i mean i felt like it was out of pity with this love it could be like 60 percent or 70 percent out of pity that's how come you know he liked the lady and then helped her i think so if you don't think that it was out of pity it was genuine love please leave that in the comment section but i honestly think that you know the pity and then the needs of the lady pushed him or made him like the girl and when they started getting to know each other stefan never removed his hand of this lady's waist every scene that they came his hand was around the lady's waist when he went to get her from the roadside when he took her home when he was taking her to um the ladies um to the guest room his hand was around her waist when the lady is doing this his hand is around the waist when the lady was is itching his hand around the waist taking her up doing this doing this when they were even leaving the house to the city his hand was around the lady's waist the lady couldn't even hug her own friend because the fan had grabbed her <laughs> grabbed her like hey you are going nowhere like the hand was always on the waist i'm like how bad let this baby breathe let this baby breathe but, i mean i think it was a short nice straight to the point kind of a story no long terms just going straight i think this the um the situation that oma found herself in were very real like are very real um sometimes it could be your auntie it could be a stepmom it could be uh you know someone you're just living with a guardian or even a total stranger who could treat you the way um the woman did out of their own frustrations out of you know things that anger them has nothing to do with you so the situations are very real students you drop out of school and as um um stefan's driver said people drop out of school all the time it's no new because of financial situations and stuff so the situations in there that they portrayed are very real uh people's realities and stuff so i think it was a uh, straight to the point kind of a story i think um omer's friend is a very good friend i was really praying and hoping that he isn't in love with omer okay so that it will be like an obstacle and then kind of destroy their relationship or you know make it a bit weird or awkward but i think he was just a genuine friend who just wanted the best for her he just liked her as a friend and i like that um that clarity was there and so there was no hard feelings about you taking my girl rich guy you come to the village and then you take a girl that i've always liked their, their friendship too was very beautiful um beautiful friendship very beautiful we talk about everything every single thing and i think omar at a point was too and i mean when she told the mom that she had a modeling gig i was like how about this girl you can just take this money again give the granules out and just give your mom some of the money just keep it and go to school but i think she, the way she was raised okay tells the mom everything gives the mom money and then yeah so i think and at the end the mom you know came around to try to apologize i like that they just drove off but of course knowing omar's character knowing omar in this movie i know she's going to come around later yes, she just wants to heal on her own and then i'm sure she was going to come around and forgive her mom and father she's not someone that would you know not want to forgive she would definitely come around so i think so so i said my, my confusion do you think that stefan fell for omar out of pity 
or it was genuine love or it was genuine love and pity do leave that in the comment section and thank you so much for watching my name is Beverly. do well to like this video subscribe us of my family and i'll see you again until then do take care bye for me